What up? It's your boy Shady C here. Now, I want to say, ha ha, ha ha, all you Donald Trump supporters, you're fucked. Let me explain. Gather around, both the righties and the lefties, because I'm an independent and I'm always right. So come gather around. We'll talk to y'all for a minute. First off, Trump supporters, you're fucked. What did you want him to do? Build the wall. Ain't no wall getting built. Trump said, he said, oh, oh, I'll be fine with just some extra money for border security. So, no wall. Y'all fucked. Second off, when Trump was in the primaries, what's the one thing he kept on talking about? He kept on talking about. Bush made a mistake when he went to Iraq. Are you kidding? What Trump is trying to get us into is going to make Iraq look like a playground. What he meant to say was this. Bush made a mistake because he didn't get us into enough war. You didn't let him finish his sentence. People kept interrupting him. He would have told you his devious fucking plans. So, no wall. War with Iraq. Or, well, not Iraq, sorry. But war with the rest of the Middle East. Which is going to start World War III. And if you remember, Trump was giving Hillary shit for that. Trump was saying, if Hillary gets elected, she's going to start World War III. That sounded more like Nixon, but it's okay. Go with me here, man. Now, you may ask me, Shady, well, what if Hillary would have won? We would still be in World War III coming up. That wouldn't be no difference. What you idiots need to realize, there's certain people who deserve to be president. People like Elizabeth Warren. And Bernie Sanders. And there's even some Republicans. What you need to do, but to be honest with you, what we need to do is we need to elect a president who's a third party president. Someone who has no ties to anyone. The third party candidates don't get near as enough as much tax money as, or not tax money, but uh, write offs and fucking big business. Well, I don't think even some of the third parties don't take any big business donations. I don't think the Green Party takes any big business donations. So they have nobody to pay back. Now, you might say, well, didn't Trump not take any donations? That's different. He's still part of the company that's bought and paid for by Wall Street, which is the Republican Party. The party, I should say, not the company. That's bought and paid for by Wall Street. <clears throat> so Trump goes around and he starts telling everyone, drain the swamp, drain the swamp. And then he gets elected, and what's he do? Now, Trump had a chance to be a good president. He could have put people into positions in his campaign, or in his, his cabinet, that were outside of the mainstream, outside of corporate special interests. He could have put in some independent people. I'm sure he could have, but he didn't. He gets elected, and he doesn't drain the swamp. He jumps right in that motherfucker. Straight up. That's what he did. Now... What, what can we do about it? Now, let me say, there's been a lot of protests going on. But this is bullshit protest. It's been Antifa versus the Americans. What they need to do is start doing these protests called... Um, what you call it? What you call it? Um, when you need to uh, not deport... Basically kick Trump out of office. I had, I, I don't write, I don't make notes when I'm doing my videos. We need to kick Trump out of office is what we need to do. There's a word for it, but it escapes my mind at the current moment. Not deport, not depart, or something else there. Fuck, I can't remember, but it's okay. We need to do impeach. There we go. Impeach Trump. We need to do impeach Trump protests. Meaning everyone has to have a sign that says, impeach Donald Trump. That's all it needs to be about. No vagina hats. No vagina sandals. No vagina t-shirts. No, I'm a woman, hear me roar bullshit. Just impeach Donald Trump. That's it. Everyone has a sign. Now, this is not party specific. You could get people from the middle, which is where most people will be from. You can get the far left loonies, the far right Nazis. Get them all together. Get everyone together. And impeach Donald Trump. We need to stop. What we're doing right now is they're dividing everybody. They're getting the Antifa people thinking it's about, Oh, my ears are sensitive. I don't want to hear anyone talking who's going to say something I don't want to hear. 
So let's shut it down. No, man, it's not about that. Everybody needs to get together and do impeach Donald Trump protests. This will help. Remind Trump. Remind him what he said. Oh, and if you don't believe me, a little homework assignment from Shady C to you. Go on YouTube and type in Donald Trump anti-war. And there'll be a few different videos of Donald Trump saying he ain't going to war if he's president. Another thing he said he was going to do that he's not going to, he's obviously not doing. He said he was going to raise taxes on the rich. Which had originally I supported him. Because I thought that sounded real cool. Finally a Republican who's not going to kiss the ass of the different companies. And if you don't believe me, go back to YouTube again and type in Donald Trump raise taxes on the rich. You'll find the videos. I promise you. I researched them again before doing this video just to make sure I was right. You'll find the videos. <clears throat> now, is he doing that? Of course not. See, like I always, when I say Shady C is always right, there are times where I can be wrong, but when I'm wrong, I reevaluate and go back to being right. So if I'm wrong, I'm never wrong for very long. Because at first, I was a supporter of his. And then I started to see the writing on the wall. And I said, yeah, he's going to be like every other president. He's going to take us to war. He's going to raise taxes on the poor and the middle class and lower them on the rich. Because, of course, they need tax breaks. He's going to continue giving um, corporate welfare out to big business. He ain't going to do nothing different. He don't give a damn about us. He don't really care about us. Yeah. So I'm telling you, it's bullshit. So what we need to do is to get together as Americans... Throw labels away for a little bit. See, I'm independent. I'm smarter than Democrats and Republicans. I'm smart enough to know. Both parties are bought and paid for by Wall Street and special interests. Neither two, neither of the main two parties care about anyone. They don't. If you are a poor, white, redneck, the Republicans don't care about you. If you're a poor brother in the hood, the Democrats don't care about you. They don't care about anyone. We need to realize that and wake up. Now... We had an opportunity at a good president. We could have had Bernie Sanders. And he would have been fucking phenomenal. He would have been the best president ever. What happened was, though, Hillary and the Democrats knew that Bernie could, be, could win. Bernie could have beat Trump. Hillary wasn't beating Trump. They were the two the same. They were two peas in a pod. Didn't matter which we were getting, we were going to be fucked. So that's when the Democrats started leaking shit about Bernie Sanders. It started leaking that he's supposedly an atheist, which I don't care. If he's a good president, believe what you want, homeboy. Um, he started, they started leaking different things about him. <clears throat> and after the election, when the emails were coming out, and we realized what the fuck was happening, the Democrats were sitting there going, oh, Can you believe things were leaked? Things were leaked? I'm sitting there like, who cares about what was leaked? Look at the content of what was being leaked. Judge not by the leak, but by the content of the leak. That's what y'all should have been doing. Y'all was sitting there. If you were the Re if you were the Republicans, like, yeah, good job leaking. If you were the Democrats, you're like, how dare something be leaked? Look at the contents. It shows Bernie Sanders was robbed and cheated. He should have won the whole thing. I would have voted for him. She damn right. By that time, I knew what Donald Trump was up to. You can't pull the rule of the eyes of Shady C for too damn long. I'm too smart for that. Too smart for that. Now, what's going to happen, I'm going to predict something. Y'all watch the comments. If anyone says anything, it's going to be Republicans going, Well, he's fat. <laughs> it's going to be something to do with my appearance when I'm the most gorgeous person on the face of the earth. But anyways, I digress. What, I'm, what I look like doesn't matter in this instance. It's what I'm saying. It's what's coming out of my mouth. Y'all are too stupid to realize that. So, literally, what is happening to America is the movie Idiocracy. They're a few years early. They were giving America credit. They thought we was going to take a while for the dumb to kick in. It's not. They're not going to listen to the words I'm saying. They're going to go, oh, look at him. He's fat. Yes, I'm fat. But I could still have your mama if I wanted to. But I don't. But anyways, in closing, what everyone needs to do is get together and do impeach Donald Trump rallies. Just that. Just focus on that one issue. Don't have to be like 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 friends of mine were talking about the women's march. It was about a bunch of different things. Yeah, well, focus on this one thing for once. We can get independence. 
we can get Democrats and we can get Republicans with common sense together and do this big thing. Do it on Washington. Do it right in front of his fucking house. Do it right in front of the White House. Impeach Donald Trump. Impeach Donald Trump. Focus on that one issue for, for a little bit. Remind him of his campaign promises. And you can get it done. Now, if you agree with me, I want you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with everybody you know. Let this spread across the internet. If you don't agree with me, you're full of shit. But still, like, subscribe, and share. Push comments down below. As you know, I'm Shady C, and I'm always right.